Where are the best rental markets in the world for cash flow investors, right? Where should you guys be spending your money? Obviously, we all want the same thing, to make the most money. So I'm here today to tell you where you need to go to get it. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. The show where I help investors like you Everyday folk from all over the world invest in highly profitable real estate, right? Today I'm working with my man Chris from California. We are looking for the most profitable real estate markets to invest some of your money, Chris. And you know where it's not? It's not California. If you're a long-term buy and hold cash flow investor looking for low-cost rental real estate, you're not going to find it in California, right? But I got a property for you today, Chris, in a very low-cost market. This market is so cheap. We're going to be able to take 17 and a half grand and get you a thousand dollar a month rental. All the details and how we're going to make that happen right after this. Hey, Steve. Oh, nothing. Just creating a motivated seller's list using the free software trial I got from Holton Wise TV. Oh my, Steve. Holton Wise. Real estate investing made easy. Wow, I'm so glad I clicked that link below. Welcome back. As I said, we are going to find low-cost rentals where are the low-cost rentals where are the best low-cost markets there's a ton of them okay there's a ton of low-cost markets in the united states of america one of which is cleveland ohio but we're going to go even deeper than that all right even deeper than cleveland because this is not in cleveland this is west of cleveland in a little suburb called Elyria. You don't hear anything on the national spotlight about Illyria. LeBron James didn't bring Illyria Cavaliers a championship in 2016. Baker Mayfield doesn't play for the Illyria Browns. No. Nobody's talking about Illyria. And because of that, Cleveland is higher priced than Illyria. Because Cleveland's on the map is a place that a lot of out-of-state investors go. They think Cleveland. They never think Illyria. Cleveland itself, that is one of the best, most popular low-cost rental income markets in the United States. Nothing wrong with that, but that's why you're here. You're here with me because I go even deeper for you, right? I go even deeper. We go a little bit west. We are based in Cleveland. We still manage out here. 254 Lake Avalaria, 44035. This thing's been on the market for quite a while, priced at 75.9. A lot of people aren't paying attention to this. In addition, it's got tenants in there that are paying a little bit below market rent which is good. That's allowing us to keep this value low, okay? Now, nice house. It's got central air, okay? You don't see that a lot in the Cleveland market. You don't see a lot of central air. Guys, central air is going to make you a ton of freaking money because not all the rentals have them, especially in these, like, C-grade neighborhoods, okay? They don't have central air. Does central air, like, take your $1,000 a month rental and make it a $1,200 a month rental? No. No, it doesn't. But you know what it does? It keeps your tenants in your properties longer, which is going to save you thousands and thousands of dollars in regards to your turnover costs. And we got a tenant in here, and they're paying below market. They're paying $750, but this house is nice, man. This is a really nice C-grade rental. So this is worth a lot more, okay? So we're going to take advantage of the fact that the current landlord has given these folks a little bit of a discount. Not all landlords are the same. Not everybody knows what they're doing. A lot of landlords are mom-and-pop landlords. right? So we're going to take advantage of that, take advantage of the fact that Elyria is a little bit off the map. Okay. So people aren't focusing on it because not a lot of investors are looking at Elyria. Not a lot of investors are interested in a $750 rental because they don't realize how much you could actually rent for. That's why it's been on the market for so long. That's why I believe I could pick it up for you for a freaking discount 70 grand would be an insane price for this why because this is really a 1050 a month rental right should be able to generate twelve thousand six hundred dollars a year after you pay for your fixed and variable expense estimates you're looking at clearing a little bit over six right almost six thousand four hundred right and this is where it gets super juicy man the financing 
All you got to put down is 17 and a half. Bank kicks in the other 52 with the market rent as our metric. You're looking at a 21.3% cash on cash return, right? As far as getting that tenant up, we'll do it slowly, right? 50 bucks this year, 50 bucks the next year, 50 bucks, 50 bucks, 50 bucks, right? We don't want to just try to boot them out and then get a new tenant at 1050 because to do that, we got to do a little turnover, right? We don't want to do the turnover, right? That's going to spend some money. Just like the AC is awesome, not because it increases the rental value, it keeps people in the units. That's what we want to do. As investors, the number one return killer is turnover. Guess what? As investors, we're going to get turnover. It's part of the fucking business, all right? So what we don't ever want to do, we never, ever, ever, under any circumstances, want to create an artificial turnover. So we got a proven, screened, paying tenant. We know this tenant pays because he's been paying the landlord, right? The proof's in the pudding. So what we want to do is keep that tenant in there as long as we can. Our goal is to get to the market rate of 1050, but we don't want to do so by being too aggressive and kicking out the tenant because now you have to go ahead and turn the unit. Don't add a necessary, unnecessary five, six, seven thousand dollar turn to get it totally spick and span ready to go for new market tenants. Right? Current tenant, they're digging it. Right? They already live there. All their stuff's in there. All like the bumps in the walls or the nicks here, the nicks there. The fact that the carpet's a hell of a lot cleaner in the like uh, under where your bed is, under where your couch is, than like the walk areas, right? Doesn't bother this tenant, right? It's, our, it's all their shit, right? But you ain't going to rent that to a brand new tenant. Can't be fucking empty looking like that, right? That's just how it is, okay? So we got to keep that tenant in there, folks. But long term, 1050 rental. This thing's a killer. Makes a lot of sense. This is one of the best, most profitable rental markets in the world, in the United States, even in the Cleveland area, and people ain't paying attention to it. But your boy, James Wise, is, and that's what you pay me for. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.